Hey YouTubers, welcome to the vlog. It is an early morning vlog, very early. I had to shave and shower last night to, so I wouldn't interfere with the other people in the house. Uh, but I am on my way down to Humble and Fred show in Etobicoke, which is just west of Toronto. And uh, it is uh, about five to seven. So I got up at 6.30, grabbed my food, got dressed, or got dressed, grabbed my food, and now I'm heading downtown Toronto. Uh, last night I had to pick up Ben uh, at Wendy's. And so on the way down south, I saw some cop cars. I'm like, oh, accident or a ride program or something. And uh, uh, so, you know, you slow down. And as we got closer, there was a, a, a dead animal on the road, probably a raccoon. And as we we're approaching the accident, I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. Why is there a dead raccoon? And then there's police. And uh, as I got closer, there was a car completely flipped upside down. So they swerved to miss the animal, still hit the animal, and then ditched their car. And then there's ambulance and stuff were coming up the other way. So there's a lesson for you people. You know, try hard not to hit the animal, but don't swerve your car to miss the animal because you will end up destroying your car and possibly killing yourself. So there's a big lesson for you. You know, try everything you can, man. It's, you definitely don't want to kill the animal, but it's better than killing yourself, really. And we're back. Hello. Uh, so today on the Tumble and Fred show, uh, I guess Eileen Ross was asking, "What is um, what do we what do we want to talk about?" And I I I, I guess the last time I was on the show, I had thirteen thousand subscribers, five million uploaded views. Now I've got. 20 million total uploaded views and just changing gears people I know I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a mount for this camera so I don't have to do this in the car I know a lot of people don't like it but I have to get this vlog done so I'm, I'm driving very safely and there's no animals to be had um, I said to be had not to be head uh, so we're going to talk about uh, how I grew my channel to now 135,000 subscribers. I think it's 136, probably as of today. Um, yeah, so we're going to yap about that. And then I'm also going to talk about the, the top five awesome things you can do for a YouTube, which we are, YouTuber, which we already talked about in one of my previous vlogs. And the one, the one out of the five I forgot was subscribing. Um, but we've talked about that. I'm going to write them down and make sure that we talk about that today as well. And of course about collaboration. And then I'm also going to mention um, the Indiegogo. Not that I'm going to be like promoting Indiegogo, but I'm promoting the fact that if you're a YouTuber and you want to make it big, you got to, you got to, uh, collaborate you meet a lot of amazing people you learn tons of stuff because they have, have approached YouTube on a completely different angle than you have everybody has so even Dame Drops both of us have approached YouTube completely differently uh, we're kind of doing similar things now but still not doing the similar things I know it's confusing okay uh, so the first things first is we're gonna stop off at, at uh, Tim Hortons and as you can tell this is gonna be an all-day vlog all right, we're back. I just got a large double-double from Tim Hortons, and that guy was extremely friendly. I'm like, how you doing today? And he's like, oh, very good, sir. I didn't win the lottery. <laughs> it was so funny. Yes, that's my Indian accent. Uh, how was it, by the way? Uh, so we're just passing uh, Canada's Wonderland coming up here on the left, but we're too far away for you to see. Well, maybe not. Let's just do it. There you go, Canada's Wonderland. Just in case you didn't know, I have a crap load of Canada's Wonderland roller coaster, uh, point of views, reviews, and stuff on my main channel. Because I bet there's a lot of people who don't know I do, did that uh, a couple years back. So you can get check those out. All right, Humble and Fred Show, here we come. Well, I made it. I'm actually like only two minutes late. I thought I was gonna be a lot later because the traffic was crazy. So we are, I believe it's upstairs. Pretty cool building. 
But when you're doing a, a radio show, you don't need a whole lot of space. So we're here. Serious XM. That's the thing I brought yesterday. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. That, yeah, that was crazy. How many people referenced that? Uh, our show. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Humble and Fred show. And I got to talk to Humble about some cool things. And uh, they're going to be doing a anniversary coming up at the Horseshoe downtown Toronto. And uh, we'll see if I'm available for that. Anyway, so we are gonna need to find out what time it is. It's probably still really early in the morning. The last time I was here, I was here for like a couple hours. So when I left here, it was lunchtime. And, uh, but this time I think it's still early in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna try and find a Korean store because I wanna find, uh, what's it called? The, the Century Eggs for a challenge and the Silkworm Larvae. <laughs> and that would be uh, a fun challenge in itself. So I gotta, since I'm down this area, the chances are there might be easily a place that does uh, Korean foods like that. So let's go. So I found a grocery store. Uh, it looked like an, uh, I'm not even sure what kind of store it was. It was just a grocery store. But I thought they might know where uh, a Korean grocery store is, but he said possibly up here on the left is um, a Chinese food grocery store. So hopefully they have the items that we need. And I think the actual century eggs are like a Chinese thing anyway, so that might come in handy. I just hope that they're TNT. It's like a military surplus store, which is kind of cool. So I'll let you know if we're successful. Well, I'm slowly working my way east. Uh, now I'm downtown Toronto. As you can see, there is the CN Tower. Hello, CN Tower! And there is construction everywhere, like normal. This would be a normal day in Toronto and pretty much any city, I guess, that you could possibly imagine. So I'm pretty sure if I go straight north here, I'll run into Dundas, which I believe there's a lot of Chinese uh, stores, grocery stores and stuff in that area. So hang on, we'll get our stuff soon. All right, we are in Chinatown in Toronto. There's gotta be the foods I'm looking for. <laughs> Who would have thought there were this many duck eggs? Look at them all. Salted duck eggs, preserved duck eggs, preserved duck eggs, soft duck eggs, ooh. Preserved, I guess I'm gonna go try these ones. I just don't know. Preserved duck eggs. That's all I can, they look like what I've seen on the internet. But now I gotta find uh, silkworm larvae. Mm. So I totally lucked out and got the, uh, the duck eggs. And I also got two cans of Spam. But they didn't have, they had two kinds of variations of the silkworm, but it wasn't the canned silkworms that I've seen other people do, so that's what I need to find. I guess I'll go to the next store. Yeah, I'm at this store, see if, I think I've been mistaken, it's pupa that I'm looking for. So she said all items that are in a can are in aisle two. So I've only seen them a couple times on other people's channels. Emmy Made in Japan did it. I think, um, dude, where's my challenge? <laughs> Tried it, I think, I can't remember. I've seen it a few times and she said, it's probably not here. I'm hoping it is. I'll update you soon. Well, that place was a failure for that. I'm thinking that it's Korean food and I'm I'm sorry, but I don't know the difference between Korean writing and Chinese writing. I actually do know the difference between that and Japanese. Japanese has more rounded letters and stuff. I think. More O's. 
All right, I gave up my search for the uh, silkworm larvae or pupa as I burp. Uh, I have to go to the washroom really bad. So I'm heading up to Bradford. I'm not sure why I told you my my situation, but I did. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, so I'm heading uh, back up to Bradford to do the Wendy's pulled pork cheeseburger. And uh, Ben even told me that more people are buying the pulled pork cheeseburger over just the pulled pork sandwich. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'll just do that uh, try to keep the calories down. And I'll also see if I can order a glass of water, which I think is uh, a no-brainer. You're allowed to do that. So stay tuned, people. All day vlogs happening your way. Well, guys, as you can see, I am at Wendy's. And one of the mistakes I made today, and I kind of knew it going into it, that I'm going to be videotaping at uh, the Humble and Fred show when I was on their radio show. And of course, when we finished recording, Humble started asking me a bunch of questions. I shut my camera off, but I didn't shut the power off. I just stopped it from recording. Now I have a dead camera. This camera is good to go but it's not gonna be a problem to come back tomorrow. So I'm gonna to have to do this tomorrow and uh, just go home and, and edit the footage I got today. Plus I'm supposed to be doing a live show with Chuck from the Bronx tonight. And yesterday I emailed, he emailed me and said, oh, what do you wanna do? And I said, I emailed him back maybe about an hour later, but by that time he stopped looking at his computer or checking his emails. So we kind of uh, lost contact there so I'm just gonna go back inside and just let them know because they saw me come in and I kind of looked around for a second and then I uh, said I'm coming through in a minute but I'm gonna go back in and tell them I'm not coming through in a minute because I'm down a camera and I can't do my show with only one camera well I can but I don't want to I want to do it with two cameras so I'll come back tomorrow see you at home bye well I couldn't pass up the fact that I was at Wendy's so I got a couple spicy chicken wraps and I will do a a review on that someday for you. Uh, from there I went to the Ministry of Transportation and got a temporary license because I lost my license at the hospital a few weeks back and I've been driving around without a license and knowing me I'll get pulled over and, and get charged. I'm not sure how much. It used to be $175 if you didn't have your license on you or sorry $75 but I know it's over 100 and something now. So I've got a temporary license and uh, the next one should come in the next couple weeks which is a good thing I'm gonna be going to go rock climbing in the United States and I'll need my I need a license well at least I got my temporary license but I'm not sure how that would fly in the States a temporary license so I'm hoping I get it before we go down to West Virginia to go rock climbing but that's gonna be a really fun vlog let me tell you well, I made it home and uh, the kitty kitties wanted to say hello, say hello. Mm -hmm. And then the mwah mwah, the kitty kitty. I call them monkeys because they look like monkeys with their tails. Right? Little monkeys. And there's a Sam. Fix your ear when you're being videotaped. Jeez, how embarrassing. And there's Louie and Sunny. They don't know how lucky they got it. They want to be outside. The outside cats want to be inside. The grass is always greener for some reason. I don't get it. All right, I'll see you inside. Okay, this is where my life gets absolutely chaotic and, and hectic. So I just did the show. I went to go do a Wendy's thing. Uh, sorry, I did the show and then I went and looked for um, product to do other food reviews or challenges. I couldn't find the silkworm things. Uh, then I had to boot it up to uh, Wendy's in Bradford. I realized one of my cameras was dead, so I had to cancel that. Did the driver's license thing, came home, walked the dog, uh, and then I got an email from Chuck from the Bronx, excuse me while I itch my back. I'm like sweating now because I'm like all of a sudden stressed out of my mind. Uh, so so Chuck and I are supposed to be doing a live show for you guys tonight and we're gonna do it a little bit differently. So I'm having a guest, which is Chuck from the Bronx and he's gonna be on the show and I want to put out an Instagram picture uh, basically asking people to go on my Twitter and ask questions on the Twitter and then Chuck and I are gonna pick our favorite five to 10 comments or questions and we will answer them answer them live tonight at seven o'clock eastern standard time 
oh my gosh and I got home and uh, Humble and Fresh still hasn't sent me the audio so that's going I'm still waiting on that I had to compress all the footage because I did an all day vlog and then of course the footage from the show uh, I have to compress it all and get it oh my gosh this is where it gets absolutely chaotic and then I get all these emails from people and they're you know either asking me to do something or but then you get really cool ones like Alex SSS said Ken Damick, you're my inspiration. And that makes my day. Thank you very much, Alex. Um, so, so I'm waiting, uh, or Chuck can't Skype me because he's at work right now. So uh, I prefer to talk with people like that beforehand, um, just to, because typing back and forth is just too hard to do for me. Uh, it takes me forever to type stuff. I'm not the fastest at it and my, my thoughts go always get mixed up so i start putting things before th certain things and then i start to flur uh anyway so i hope you guys uh get to see that it's only one o'clock so i'm hoping i can get everything done i just don't want it to stress me out too much uh, but everything is funny how everything just comes to a head like that and then it's like ah, crazy so i have to get the questions out there right now or i have to send out an instagram um thing so i'm doing it on on Photoshop. So this is one of the ones I, this is one of the things I did, but I was trying to open up this one, which is um, my Instagram. And it was the top one. Cause I already had, I was supposed to do one, a live show with um, Damon Wells and, and Natter. And uh, that kind of fell through. It just, just wasn't happening. We we're all busy at different times. And then it was chaos. So that show got scrapped. Uh, we never even shot it. Um, so now I'm going to change the name to uh, Chuck from the Bronx. But I also want to say either in this picture or in the words beside it on my Instagram, Twitter and stuff, telling people, because I need people to be on my Twitter. Twitter is like the instant gratification, instant information that I need people to follow me on as well as Instagram and Facebook. But I need people to go to my Twitter, leave a question, we'll try and answer at least 10 of them, 10 of the best questions that we think are the most relevant to, there's no topic really for tonight. Um, maybe we'll just, we'll, we'll, the topic will be food challenges. How about that? Because I'm inexperienced as a food challenge guy and Chuck is not inexperienced. He is a professional food uh, challenge kind of dude. So uh, I'm hoping this will go up before, this is gonna have to go out as soon as possible. Anyway, I'm busy, bye. And here's just a quick update for the crowd funder for the West Coast Food Tour. We're up to $385. We have eight people funding it so far, and that is awesome. 56 of you guys have shared it. Uh, five of you tweeted it out, two of you Google Plused it. So again, if you can't afford to help me fund this, that's totally fine, but please share it. Obviously I only have eight fund, fund people that are funding it, and but I got 56 people to share it for me. So thank you very much because you know, you share it with 10 people and one of those 10 people might wanna help fund this, all right? So once again, if you can't afford to do this, I am not pressuring anybody into doing this. Uh, I'm just wanting to know if anybody wants to be a part of it, if they can and they can afford it, be a part of it. It'll be a lot of fun and you'll see your name on at least six videos and you can get a t-shirt possibly and all the other cool things. But just come to there. Uh, I've put one of my awesome subscribers yesterday said I didn't put the link to this in the last vlog. It's in there now. It'll be in every vlog forward until the end of the campaign. All right. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Yes, this is my lumberjack hat. All Canadians have a lumberjack hat. Um, so I'm just getting ready to do my live show with um, with Chuck from the Bronx. I hope you guys, I've got a bunch of questions that people have already sent. If some people don't have Twitter, so they asked if they can, which is really nice. They asked permission <laughs> to leave a question on the Instagram, which was which was very thoughtful. Uh, I'm just trying to get more people. Like I only have about 2,400 people on my Twitter. So I'm just trying to get more people on my Twitter account so that when I want to just do a quick update without possibly using my Instagram, then I can do a quick update. And I also want to use possibly from now forward doing all my live shows uh, with a guest host, 
yes, a guest host and uh, getting all the questions from Twitter. So, and I've seen other YouTubers do it and I'm thinking that's the best way of doing it because uh, you probably have seen the last couple uh, live shows, maybe you haven't, but they get chaotic and basically it's just me saying hi to people, which is, which is good. I know you guys like that sometimes, but you know, once they've heard their name, then they're gone and they don't stick around for the whole show. And, uh, or they try to keep asking questions and they ask too many questions and it gets overrun with the same person asking the same or different questions, uh, and, and, which is great. They're fully engaged. I love that fact that they're, they hang around the whole show. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna try this format. So I'm gonna be doing me and Chuck. Chuck is my guest. We're gonna grab about 10 to 15 questions. We're gonna answer them over a course of an hour and that will be the show for tonight. So stay tuned for tonight. I gotta to get this vlog out. It's like 10 after three. I got to finish editing it and it's almost edited. As you can see, it takes a while to render. So that's as much as I've done. I'm just gonna put the piece on that I'm doing with you right now there. Uh, change the number so it's not 173 again. Um, but I just have to get ready. I might, I might put up the the board with, with all my um, uh, postcards on it. I only have like uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that might not be worth putting them up just yet. But again, I appreciate the people who have sent their postcards in from different countries and cities of the world. Uh, get on that, people, because you could be part of my background. So uh, I got to get this done. I'll shut up now. Talk to you tomorrow. Hope to see you tonight on the live show. Bye.